Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. I had to get some of those ASMR mics, the ones that look like ears. This is a little morning program where I, John Hodgman, play 2013's classically buggy and wonderful SimCity. I believe it's SimCity 5. Building happy little streets, zoning happy little residential, commercial, and industrial zones, RCI. That's how they talk about it in the SimCity Reddit, RCI, residential, commercial, and industrial. This is, of course, in celebration of all of this Max Fun Drive one time a year when we, the hosts, producers, staff of the Maximum Fun Podcast Network come to you and ask for your support. It is the the last day of the first week of your Max Fun Drive 2022. And We are speeding towards our goal. 20,000 new and upgrading members. If you're not a member of Maximum Fun and you enjoy Judge John Hodgman or any of those podcasts on the Maximum Fun Network, hey, you know, maybe consider going to bit.ly slash mfdrive right there. You can become a member for as little as five bucks a month and unlock hundreds and hundreds of hours of bonus content, including this year's bonus content, Judge John Hodgman After Dark, in which I say swear words. If any of you are interested in joining or upgrading to the Leadership Squad level, I will be mispronouncing names on my Instagram account, as always. Just join at the Leadership Squad level or above or boost your existing membership to the Leadership Squad level or above. Take a screenshot of your receipt and email it to me, Hodgman at MaximumFun.org. That's Hodgman at MaximumFun.org. Just put hashtag proof in the subject line if you don't mind. And I will say thank you and mispronounce your name on my Instagram account. It's something that we've done before, and people seem to have fun with it, so why not do it again? And hey, if you're already a member at a level that you like, that's cool. That's cool. But if you're looking for a way to support Maximum Fun, you can always buy a membership for a family member or a friend or a foe or even a random Max Fun listener who can't afford to chip in right now. They're on a waiting list. You can buy a guest. You can buy a gift membership, I should say. Gift membership. And if you just can't do it at all, that's also very cool. If you can't afford to pitch in today or this Max Fun Drive, I get it. There's a lot going on out there. There are a lot of there are a lot of political campaigns that need your support for these midterms. I get it. I get it. Just enjoy these free streams. I'll be doing The Joy of Zoning every weekday through the end of Max Fun Drive. That is to say for today and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Every weekday, 9 a.m. through next Friday. And then every afternoon at 3 p.m., I host Get Your Pets. You want to find out what that's all about? You don't know. Come on back to wherever you're watching this now, 3 p.m. So we put on our regular glasses. And what do you say we get rid of this overlay? Let's bring down this music and get to playing SimCity. Minneapolis Mike, who's been enjoying the joy of zoning for a while, asks, let's cut to the chase. What's happening with Dodgy Meats franchise? If I can find Dodgy Meats in our city, our city's growing. Our city is growing. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at the, at this city. Let me get it up here for you. Take a look at our city. 
All right, now I can see it. Now I'll share it with you. Wow. There it is. I'm going to change the background, though, so that it's not confusing. Stand by, won't you? There we go. It's a bit better. Where is Dodgy Meats? Well, of course, this is Lower Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, which is what we're calling the city. It's 4.18 a.m. on a on a sim morning. This is our industrial area. You'll remember we built an oil well. Let me just go on a turtle speed. Get it, get it going here. We have a little factory zone in here, building up some factories in here. Let's go, and here's our upper upper level. This is our residential and commercial level, along with our very virtue signaling wind power. I think Dodgy Meats is over here. Maybe I'm going to be really good at this. There's our city hall. People are protesting too much crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can hear the sound effects of the city as they get closer. Expiration market. There it is, Dodgy Meat Co. Don't have to answer your question. It's closed for the day. Good morning, everybody. Everyone's saying good morning in the chat. If you're on Twitch or the Judge John Hodgman Facebook page, you can go ahead and chat and I'll see it. Happy Friday, Max Fun Fam. I agree. Happy Friday. I'm ready for it. But right now we got a city to build. So let's get into it. I guess I'll keep this music going for a little bit. Let me know in the chat when it becomes too torturous. Uh-oh. Check out my board. My sewage, my sewage uh, tab is lit up orange. Got orange in the tab in sewage. Let's, I'm sure that means this, we're, the pipes are backed up. Backed up pipes. I never noticed that this that this advisor looks like this advisor's brother. They both the hard hat boys, the Hardy boys. Okay, well let's check it out. Yeah, you can see that we're just about at capacity. So all I have to do to get them to. The hard hat boys to shut up at me. At least one of them is to add this little outflow pipe right there. Oh, we're doing a little bit better. Let's add another one. They're cheap. That's what I built this road for. There we go. I won't be hearing from you in a while, smug hard hat boy. Now we have a fire station. They're right over there. Our fire station got an extra fire truck. We're extremely profitable here in Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. Thanks to my very high taxes, which I believe in and I'm willing to pay. We have a, a, an hourly profit of 4,836 simoleons. That's what these little dollars are per hour. And as you can see over here, we've got our crude oil pumping, shipping to the global market. We made uh, 18,000 simoleons in the month of June here in year one. Johnny Hardhat is played by David Reese, yes, but, but uh, David Reese has a brother, which you may or may not know. And, uh, and I think he must be playing uh, the other hard hat. I'm going to call them the hard hatty boys. They do look a little bit like David Reese, it's true. Oop. All right. 
So you know, one thing I hate in this life is owing money. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay off this bond. Watch this, it's gonna feel so much lighter. Can one choose to tax the rich at a higher rate in this game? Uh, you absolutely can, and the heathen. But you need to add a, uh, a finance department to your city hall. I don't wanna look at this anymore, I wanna look at my city. Here's my city hall. I'm not ready, I'm not approved yet. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, I can add a department of finance. Can I tell you the truth though? I, I just don't have the head for it. I just tax them, tax them all. But you know, maybe it's time to learn. Maybe it's time to learn. Am I going to spend 15,000 simoleons on the Department of Finance before even the Department of Safety or Department of Tourism? I mean, I, I think we want... Or what about the Department of Utilities? What about the Department of Transportation? Don't you want trains? Don't you want Eiffel Towers? What about the Department of Education? I have to pick one. Why don't you all vote? Tell me which department I should add. Here are your options. Department of Finance, Department of Safety, Department of Tourism. That's how you start getting those stadia and uh, landmarks. Department of Transportation, this adds uh, buses and local tr regional train access. Also, I uh, municipal airport. Department of Utilities. Jennifer Marmer, if you're in the chat, will you monitor the chat and see if we can get a See if we can get a uh, consensus. And Jennifer Mar, yeah, okay, I see you there, Jennifer Marmer. Jennifer Marmer votes transportation, but Jennifer Marmer, if you if you've got a hand free, thank you, Jennifer Marmer. And uh, Min Minneapolis Mike, you can help Jennifer Marmer. Just a rough consensus. What's the problem? Oh, this guy at City Hall really wants me to build Maxis Man a mansion. And he's willing to give me 5,000 simoleons to do it. You know what? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna build this dumb Maxis Manor. It's, he's expensive to have around, but it's never really paid off, but I, frankly, I enjoy that more. And, you know, since, let's see what's happening. There have been zero fires, zero deaths. Everything's going pretty well. Three crimes, no police station. Look, I don't love it, but we do have to have a police station. I wish it weren't necessary, but it's part of the game. And I'm gonna put the police station out here. There's not a lot I can do here. So I'm gonna take this police station and just drop it. Since we have the simoleons, let's do it. Up here in this residential area and across. I like to keep the police station near shops if possible because there are a lot of robberies at shops in this simulation. Okay. And I think this is called the joy of zoning because I do have to zone that commercial, residential, and industrial. And I could only do that if I build roads and upgrade roads. I forget if I built these roads on the cheap or not. Oh, look, you can see. Look at this. You can see people are people are starting to upgrade their homes. You can also see we've got orange on the transpo tab. Highway traffic congestion. Traffic in my city is congested. Build a shuttle bus depot and some bus stops. <laughs> Stevie. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I unfortunately I already put that. I didn't mean to. Steve Jackson says, "Do we need police? If we're going to have a superhero." Yeah, we do. You can't just rely on one dude in the cape. I believe that the way this game works is that the superhero fights the supervillain, Doctor Vu. But I've never seen the superhero, Doctor Vu. When I have a little bit more money, I'll make that um, Maxis Manor. But you know what? Also, classrooms are f full here. The other thing that um, prevents crime is education. The more education you have, the more educated your citizenry or your citizenry the fewer crimes are committed in your city. Isn't that nice? It makes sense. Makes sense. I'm going to add some more classrooms here to the school. I know to hold, hold them off for a little bit. I know. I just added the classrooms. Okay, hippie? So stop yelling at me, you beatnik. Jennifer Marmer, by your tally, looks pretty pretty split between transportation and finance. Well, right now, I'm not going to build a department of finance. Sorry, I'm a heathen. I will do it, though. I'll do it for you. I promise that I'll build it in the city. But I would like a department of transpo because I would like to add regional buses. And the fact is that we, we don't have any wealthy Sims at the moment. Our population is almost entirely low wealth. So getting that capability to ta tax medium and high wealth Sims is not really worth it for me at the moment. So I'm going to add, hey, this happens sometimes. There we go. Lost my cursor. I'm going to go ahead and add that Department of Transpo. Transpo is a good one. You get to have all kinds of fun. I can plop it anywhere. Over here, over here, over here. I'll plop it in the back. Transfer in the back. I think that's it. I'm not allowed to add anything else. No, I gotta wait till the next upgrade. And by upgrade, I mean I gotta reach a population benchmark. Do I not have a sign? Let me put a sign here. There. What does that sign even say? What does it, what does it even say? City Hall. Good. That was 200 simoleons well spent. Yes, and the heathen is and heathen is right. Public public transport is a priority. It surely and truly is. So I want to plop a regional. Oh, I'm running out of water. Got orange on the water tab. Check our water map again. Okay. So now I can. You know, there's not a lot that can happen up here, but look at all this water that I have on this ridge. That's a lot. I'll just go ahead and build a couple of them. That ought to keep us pumping for a while. Buildings under construction. I wonder what it's going to be. What did I zone over there? Let's check my zones. Oh, industrial. Right. It's a new factory. So I kind of made a mistake here because if I had put, if I had put a high tech water pumper, it would increase the tech of this factory. Well, look at all that water that's right there. I want that water. I want to high techify this. Oh, look at that. Six one six one five point eight. That's higher. Still very high. Still one six two zero point nine. Very high. Okay, there it is. That's the highest. It's expensive, but I'm gonna plop this guy. Bloop. Let's see what happens. 
you know, you can see. Did you see those? <laughs> yep, the city's starting to look futuristic. What are you? Yeah, unemployment crisis. There are more workers than there are jobs. Zone more industrial. Okay. Zone. Let's get back to the joy of zoning, everyone. Hmm. Where am I going to add industrial? I don't want to build over my oil fields, but I can probably sneak, sneak some in over here. Sneak a building or two in over there. Wait, did it happen or not? Glitch. What if I extend this road out here? How far will this go? factories in here, a little happy little industrial zone, right here in the nook of this cliff face. Maybe I'll put something very strange in here. Classroom's full again. Oh my gosh. All right. So this is our garbage pile. Here are the seagulls. Oh, a little sip of water here. How'd you like that for some ASMR? I really got up on the mic for that one. Okay, so now you can see this factory has become wild. <laughs> Let me zoom out a little bit. What's the name of this place? Can you make that out that sign? Industrial work. Look at this wacky truck it's got too. Sorry. Wacky future truck. Hi, Iris. What's my money situation here? I paid off that bond. Maybe I paid it off too early. My treasury's very low. I can't afford to build those classrooms. I don't want to take out another bond. I think the solution is let's just, let's just jack up the speed and watch our city grow. You ready for it? We can watch this, see what kind of factory this is going to be. It's a very satisfying sound when it goes up and goes clunk. Here we go. Well, that doesn't look very futuristic to me. But okay. By increasing speed, of course, I get to increase my income flow. Ooh, here we are. We refined oil into plastics, we could sell them in the global market. Believe me, I'm thinking all about it. You can see that our, our treasury is growing. Ooh. Wanna watch these buildings grow? Where am I? There we go. Look at our dude. As the city gets bigger, it gets harder to get down to this ground level. What happened here? So who, who, oops. What is it? 
That's not City Hall, though. That's not City Hall. Okay, City Hall says they're ready for an upgrade. Ooh. I'm going to slow it down a little bit now because of getting some power issues. We are way under power. So I wonder now, I'm gonna put it to my friends in the chat, Jennifer Marmer, if you're ready. I know the town needs buses, but our primary need right now is power. We need more power. Now I can go ahead and add some wind, more turbines to this wind farm, including some big bigos here. Cost 10,000 simoleons a pop. These littlies, 5,000. I can add on to this, or I could build an oil refiner, I mean an oil uh, power station. And I was gonna put it to a vote, but I know what I mean, I know what you guys, what you are all going to say. Let's say build wind, wind, wind. Look, I'm personally, IRL, very much in favor of renewables. But in SimCity, I'm telling you, wind never cuts it, but it's okay. I'll add this big, big O here. See if it makes a diff. Boink. Almost. And I'll add another big O here. Mm -hmm. And one more. And this is all money that I could be spending on buses, but okay. I'll add a small O over here. There we go. A little bit over what we need. And I'll just add another small O. 10, 20, 35,000 simoleons. Let's get them up and running. Let's see, let's see these guys, let's see these spinning. Ooh, all right. And you know, good news is we still have a big old, a big old budget surplus of 5K per hour. That orange on the zoning board, unemployment crisis. I know, speed bracelet. Let's see if I can fly through these. I don't want to do that. Ow, 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 ow. Energy's back up and running. Money's back up and running. Now I think it is time to build uh, build those buses. I love flying over these buildings like this. Watch this. Here we go. Swooping down. And down to lower. Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. Don't give in to fossil fuels. I'm sorry, but I'm already dizzy with the profits I'm reaping off of this oil well. This is a game. These fossil fuels aren't real. And I'm I'm trying to be as responsible as I can. So I'm going to balance it out. Instead of building those buses at public transportation, I'm going to add more oil production. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I have another oil derrick there. Go watch this. Extend this road out. Like so. And then sneak it. Come on. Sneak it over here. Up here. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can get any closer. Nope, I gotta do that. Do it that way. Is 
These oil fields are actually pretty small though. I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to get all 10 derricks on here. More oil. I think I'm gonna max out at eight. I'm gonna add another one here, but it's not, it's not getting a lot of oil out of the ground. I'm gonna save my money right now. But look what I got over here, another oil field. Boy, oh boy, you were all so happy when I was when I was building uh, those wind turbines. You didn't think I was going to come over here and build oil wells. Well, I guess I'll hold off on it for now because... I guess I'm going to hold off on that for now because I, I, um, I did promise to build that bus depot, so let's do it. That's why we have that Department of Transportation. What's this? City Hall, a new, a new City Hall module is available. Well, before we celebrate that, let's go ahead. So in buses, we have bus terminal. I prefer this bus terminal as opposed to the shuttle buses. Obviously, it's more than twice as expensive. But the buses hold many, many more sims. And as well, they, um, they travel throughout the region. So fictive sims that live in other fictitious cities will come and work and spend money and stuff. Check my oil map before I plop this. I never want to build on oil. That's the whole reason I'm here. That's the best place. It's pretty good though. I can plop, get rid of that factory, I can plop them in there. But that also means that if I build a road there, I don't want to. Oh, that's boring to get into. Just the way it is. I want access to the that oil. I can't build this road out here. And I do. I want access to everything under the ground. Snickety here. I bet you that's too close. Bet you my oil derrick won't even fit in there. Right, it won't. Okay, get rid of that. Try it again. These access roads are free. It's a pretty good deal. I don't want to connect that road. I don't want. I don't want my Sims driving all over these access roads, and that's what they're going to do. If there's, if they see a road, they're going to drive all over it. some real oil. There's oil here. 
not a ton. Might as well get the most I can. 257, 257. Uh, this is going to max me out on this well, and then I'm never going to have to worry about it again. Two, seven, six. That's fairly ungainly. I think you'll agree. But I think you'll also agree that thanks to my oil revenues, my treasury is large enough that I can build more schools. I promise you I will, too. Next thing to come is the Department of Education. It's a good deal. Now, I bet you that I cannot sneak that big bus terminal in here anymore. Nope. Nothing new. feel like he wants to be right there. Sorry about those factories, but it just feels like that's where you want the regional bus terminal to be. Or does it not matter? I better not lose any industrial. I'll be perfectly honest with you. Decision is no fun. You know what I mean? It's no fun, but I can make up for that industrial. Yeah, I'll put it here. This seems elegant to me. And then I can upgrade this road. What's this one? High density. High density. It's all high density here, right? that to high density and then just sound some industrial to make up for what I lost. Zoning industrial. You gotta do it, just got to do it, gotta zone that industrial. Industrial. Gotta do it, got, got to do it, or Johnny Hardhat will yell at you. Yelling at me now, unemployment crisis. You need more shops and factories, he says to me. Yeesh. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? Right, this is my garbage area here. Holy, holy guacamole. I've been playing at cheetah speed this whole time, and now I have 200,000 simoleons? Mm hmm. Okay. I promised you a Department of Education and you shall have it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Abandoned building. Or rubble. What happened here? Cause was no shoppers. Why were there no shoppers there? You can't have abandoned buildings hanging around. I have one abandoned building. You have to bulldoze it. Okay. You ready for that Department of Education, everybody? I am. I'm going to plop it so I can build a high school. This is one that you can kind of put pretty far away. I'm going to put it there. because I don't want to interfere with the other city hall modules. And that's it for now. 
Oh, I forgot about something, everybody. I can't just have regional bus terminal over here. I gotta plop bus stops, bus stops, or else nothing's gonna happen. Gotta light all these sp the spots up green here. Make sure that everyone can get to where they need to go. Even over here in Industrial Hollow. More. More bus stops. There's got to be one at City Hall. Here. 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 Sorry, did I miss you over there? Here. buses than what I got. You know I do. Right? Look, I say this coach is quite crowded. Yes. We need to add. <laughs> I think I need more than three buses. The nice thing about the bus terminal is you can add these garages on. Max them out. They don't take up any more space than the original footprint. Five, six, what do I care? Seven, eight. There we go. Go fourth buses. Okay, let's see. Let's see a bus. Let's see what one looks like. Let's see the fruits of our of our public transportation labor. <laughs> Hi. I like that little honk. I'm gonna follow you. Let's see where. Let's see where this bus goes. Whoa, the bus is fast. Maybe they just made a U-turn. That seems, I don't understand the point of that. Maybe I placed those bus stops in bad places. Slander panics in the chat. Slander panic, of course, worked. Worked on SimCity and quality assurance. Go up the hill. Well, they're all going out that way. That was satisfying, but I want to see one go up the hill. Let's see if we can find another one. Boy, you know, once you start find a car that's going up the hill. What are they saying? Upgrade roads. Okay. Okay. I will. You know what? That's a fair request. I will upgrade this road to increase density. Very fair request. You ready to upgrade? You guys ready to get dense? Let's get to, if you all want to get dense, we can get dense. I'm gonna upgrade this road. High density, please. Thank you. Frankly, this is long overdue. Let's keep it moving. What about this big road? Whoa, going up the hill. I think this must be a high density road, right? Yeah. We got dense, everybody. How about you? That's high density. It was foolish of me. What about you? High density. 
I tend to build high density right off the bat. Well, I guess everyone's coming down the hill, of course, because they're they're going to work. Hi, Colt Middleton. Tired of working at the factory, going home. Let's see where Colt Middleton lives. Here we go. Here we go up the hill. And hard to see where you're going with that big sign in front. Maybe Colt Middleton will tell us. We'll see what sort of what density of street Colt Middleton lives on. Oop, let's pause it there. Guess Colt Middleton went home. Lives in one of these apartments, the Dale Extended Stay. Let's check our density. I think these roads are need to be upgraded. This one definitely does. Look at that. Look at that low density POS. Sorry, what else can I call it? I was trying to save some money. Medium, high. Let's get high. Let's do it. What about here? Anybody see any more low density BS? There we go. That's medium. Now it's high. The higher the higher the density streets, of course, the bigger the buildings can get. I'm tired of thinking about. That's a low density street there. You see, the minute that I popped that into high density, the folks living here are just like, yeah, let's rebuild right now. This is fantastic. Hi. 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 These all look like some pretty high streets to me. Alright, but I think I got some low density stuff. Yeah, see these little do see these little trailers and stuff? They're about to get dense. Boom. Build it up. I don't even care what I'm spending here. This has to happen. Can't believe that I was messing around with all low density over here. I guess I was just working out my street pattern and I didn't have a lot of simoleons at the time. But the, people, the people of Upper Max Dr Fun Drive, Sylvania deserve to get dense. That didn't stay. Well, I'm going to make that high density too. I'm just going to dense it up. Now on the, on the SimCity subreddits, you'll see a lot of discussion about whether it's worth it to keep some streets medium density. I just can't. It's the same thing as with taxation. It's like, yeah, I mean, I can fine tune all of the tax rates, but to build a high school has been approved. Might as well do that too. Because I'm getting orange on the education tab. Classrooms are full again. Still an unemployment crisis. I guess we're going to have to enjoy some joy of zoning. And zone some more. This, okay. This is not my favorite. I did not realize that this street was crooked. top off these classrooms. That's the limit. Oh, I had a bus, school bus while I'm at, while I'm here anyway. Um, 
let's let's do some more zoning, shall we? While we're at it. This road is bothering me. I need to upgrade this road over here. Someone in the chat is saying, how much do I have to donate? Oh, it's Iris. How much do I have to donate to, to watch Hodgman play Animal Crossing? Iris, you're very sweet, but um, no, I need to live. Animal Crossing was too much. I mean, you know, it's interesting because like this is, this game is so reactionary in so many ways. Reactionary, is that the word I mean? You know, basically you're, dest you're destroying nature and extracting precious resources. And that's no fun. But there is no greater celebration of pure capitalism than uh, Animal Crossing. That's not going to work. Satisfying to me. Oh, that's what's satisfying. Middle uh, crime in progress, but there's zero crimes. Can I say something that is true definitely about SimCity? Is that um, the police are frequently asking for more resources when there are zero crimes being committed per day? Just want to say. But I will upgrade, I will add some, some prowlers, and I will add some cells is that does tend to pop up as a problem Still an unemployment crisis. Well, I'm gonna, I just zoned more industrial over here, my friend. I mean, how much more can I do for you? Might as well knock out these roads. Knock out some roads. As we come to the end of the hour, it's almost Brian Lair time here in New York City. Which means I will soon leave you for another day. Now we have a petition to build a community college. Everyone, this is getting better and better. Do I have enough oil yet to build a plastics refinery? Because that's where the money's at. Hmm. We'll see. Remember how I increased the density of these roads? These factories are getting bigger. But this is a show called The jo Joy of Zoning, so let's do some joyful zoning, shall we? I got money to spend on roads. I might as well build out my grid. I'm not messing around with any low density anymore. Just take it all the way down. Boom. 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 Take it all the way down to the end of town. these roads to look straight for once. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of a rise there. Okay, I understand. It's all right. 
just try and get this squared up. Don't worry, I'm not building a mega tower. I just want to make sure that I am making a size block that I like, which is about the mega tower size. So I'm going to draw right through that tree. Do you remember where it was? I don't. towers will fit in all of those what about elite mega towers let's see yes there yes yes there yes there these oh this is too small this one is a little too small i need to, I need to know that I, i'm making everything okay you're, you're, i was about to say something that uh, is not in the spirit of the joy of zoning the joy of zoning is supposed to be a show about creating Making some happy little accidents, building a little city, getting into a chill flow state. Not saying things like, I have to make sure everything is perfect and exactly the same. There, I think a mega tower would fit there. Are we gonna get to mega towers before the end? Yeah, it's, there's definitely room for a mega tower there. But look how perfect that one is, and how imperfect this one is. Yeah, the mega tower dude. Well, you know, when I played this game originally, they did not have mega towers and. Um, what you would call, uh, and, and, you know, other futuristic upgrades. It was all, it was very chill. Once you start messing around with mega towers, things get a little bonkers, I'm afraid to say. The mega tower guy makes a lot of demands. He's even worse than uh, Hard Hat Brother number one. All right, let's do some zoning. That's what this whole game is about. I'm just gonna make a checkerboard pattern. give me more shops than I need. Seems like a nice place to live, right? You know what? I'm going to dezone this because you're going to something something's going to happen here that you're going to like. I had some shops. Hey, it's the Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. Thank you for joining me for another day. As we watch Sims move in and build these little houses. Oh, and don't forget the bus stops. I want to service this neighborhood with some bus stops. Whole new neighborhood here. 
I want to remind you that this is brought to you by the Max Fun Drive. The Max Fun Drive is the one time of year that we, the hosts, producers, and staffs of the Maximum Fun family of podcasts, come to you and ask, please, for your support. Maximum Fun Drive is our primary way of how we do business and stay in the business of being a podcast business. All the money that you contribute when you join or upgrade your membership during the Max Fun Drive flows directly directly to Maximum Fun and the specific shows that you designate as the ones you like the very most, or the very least. I mean, you can spike give if you want. Maximum Fun is a network of creator-owned shows that is audience-supported. And as I have said before, we do have ads, but they are not ads. Uh, but our but our audience is is um, disproportionately generous. In other words, given our audience sizes for a lot of our podcasts, the ads don't generate a ton of revenue. They help, obviously, they do. But thanks to you, the listener, we are able to continue as a business because we are primarily audience funded. Look at our buses going around. Shall we follow a bus? I finish this spiel. Let's follow a bus. These buses are all clumped together. Let me pause. Find a bus to follow. These are all moving vans. People are moving in. Thank you, Hong Kong. Let's go. Take us on a ride. <laughs> Can you hear me over the sound of the bus? I'll pull out a little bit. bit.ly slash mf drive will take you right to our membership page if you're already a member at a level that you feel comfortable at but you'd like to do a little bit more or you just feel generous you can gift a membership to a family a friend a foe or even any one of a fairly large number of max fun listeners on a waiting list who can't afford to chip in right now and if you can't afford to chip in right now that is totally cool obviously there's a lot going on in this world. It needs your time, attention, and frankly, your money. All I guess I would ask is if you would consider spreading the word. Hashtag Max Fun Drive everywhere you go on your social media platforms. And you know what? Tell people about this show. I'll be back here at 3 p.m. today to host Get Your Pets. And I will be back here on Monday, 9 a.m., for another episode of The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. Look, you can see this bus going off into the distance. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, he's gone. And so am I. See you this afternoon and on Monday. Bye. <laughs>